Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sticker Fab. Today we are doing more printed vinyls. So it is a little bit difficult to actually make paint match items. You know, printers are only able to print so many uh, colors and we're printing on a different material than you're normally looking at. Obviously you're looking at the, the metal that's painted right there compared to our printed grill uh, right there. But this color is looking particularly good especially when you just back up a little bit and take a look at all those angles. It does match at certain uh, angles and actually right straight on right now in this light. Uh, it, it actually looks great. Um, we have obviously a lot more things we can do now that we can fully uh, color print. Let me turn this steering wheel. This is something I made this morning. I was just like, well, let's make some camo type thing and it's a lower spoke steering wheel uh inlay completely color printed so i'm going to go through the installation of this vinyl as if it was a totally uh different uh product because it kind of is um the material is a little bit stretchy a little bit rubbery so i've printed out a bunch of colors we were going to try to match the interior color but again Printed colors are just a little bit different when it comes um, to vinyl. So we're just going to go with our standard blue, which is this one uh, on the far left. This one on the far right was double printed. I tried to get um, all the colors in between, see how vibrant we could make it. But I think we're just going to go with a standard blue on this one. We'll make listings based on kind of their theme. So we'll have one that's kind of flag themed. And then we'll have another that might be camo themed. So we'll figure that out. But I just want to go through this installation. So let me get my stand and we'll do that right now. All right, here we go. First off, I apologize. I really wish I could get my leg out of this. But unless I throw it over the console, which would be really weird, even though you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, there's nothing really I can do. I've got to be working in this area. So let me take this one off. I kind of threw it on right after I printed it. Normally we will let these prints sit and dry for a little bit. Um, the one that I did on the left of that, that line of uh, flags that you saw uh, earlier, that one was printed out this morning. So it should be good to go. Normally we'll let them dry at least 24 hours. So let me take this one off. It's only been on since this morning. I'm just digging there with my nails. I should have washed my hands. I do encourage you to wash your hands before playing with vinyl, especially because you're going to be touching the backside of it uh, with these. Um, keep microfiber cloth around, some interior cleaner, uh, or even that spray bottle um, or glass cup, anything of uh, soapy water mix. Um, so you can clean this area off really really well um so usually we have the squirt bottles and i fill them all up and i put like three drops of dish soap in those but i don't have that out right now just make sure this is really clean you can use also use isopropyl alcohol wipe pad and just get up in there and clean it off now when you get yours um this will all be weeded out this extra paper so all you'll see is the steering wheel lower just like that um, you will get two of these, uh, just a thing we do because we know there's a learning curve to uh, installing vinyl um, and we just like you to have a backup. Um, so just peel that off. If it starts pulling the backing paper off, start at another location. So you can use a barely soapy mix on the back of this, use water or I probably don't suggest it with these, but you can lick them kind of like a stamp. I'm going to lick it just a little bit. You don't need to use a lot. Just try to center it up the best you can on the steering wheel. If you center it up a lot, you hit your target or close to your target the first time, then you won't need to spend a lot of time sliding it around. Now, this material is... A little bit more stretchy as I mentioned earlier so 
it's kind of getting dark. I'm kind of casting a shadow here as I try to overlay it. You just want to get it nice and even, or as even as you possibly can. You want to also cover the entire portion of the lower spoke. Now, because I didn't make mine very soapy, I'm going to push out all the bubbles, uh, starting from the kind of the center. I'm going to push this over the back of the spoke and just kind of work my way to one of the edges. And I did this last time too. I got a lot more on this side than I did on this side. So you can keep on working on that if you don't have uh, OCD and you're not worried that one side has a little bit more than the other. You can just stop at that. Um, this is another reason why we gave you two. But this doesn't bother me at all. Looks uh, pretty centered up. Let me take this off the camera. I've pushed all the air bubbles out. Um, now, if you use soapy water, uh, you might have to gently heat it up. We're talking about really, really, really light heat. This is between 70 to 80 degrees. That's what I think is the optimal uh, installation temperature for vinyl. Um, good temperature to work with it, uh, both because it won't necessarily stretch out that much. Don't do it in direct sunlight unless it's super cold. Um, yet, it is warm enough that um, the adhesive will stick pretty well. Let me take this off. So, there we have it. We will be taking your design suggestions. So please send those our way. We're gonna probably make thin blue line, maybe normal American flag, thin red line, green line, all sorts of stuff. Thank you guys for your support. And until next time, have a good one. Please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we're working on for the full-size Ford Bronco.